I'm going to teach you how to cut fruits with cards and we are starting right now. Hello guys, Magician Rock is here and welcome to another magic related video. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. I got into card throwing nine years ago when I saw a video of a magician who was cutting fruits like this. I remember I thought to myself, this is impossible. He must be using plastic hearts, some kind of magic trick, or he's a witch. And after practicing this for many hours, I can tell you that cards are made of paper. There are no magic secrets, and it is a skill. The magician I saw nine years ago was Rick Smith Jr. Fun fact, me and Rick are friends now. We even made a tutorial together and I will leave that link in the description down below so you can check it out. So are you ready to learn how to cut fruits with playing cards? If you are, keep watching because now I'm gonna choose a fruit. In the beginning I would recommend choosing the bigger fruit because the bigger the target, the easier it is to actually hit it. I'm gonna start with watermelon. about details. Now let's try to cut this carrot. I'm sorry about that. There are a few things that you need to know. First, first, first. Why do I sound like Russian when I say first? How to pronounce? First. 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 Oh, that's British pronunciation. How about American pronunciation? First. 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 Okay, I think I got it. First. You need to learn how to throw cards fast. And here's how you do it. Take a card in between these two fingers and hold your thumb on the top of your index finger like this. Now okay. you need to do this kind of move and let go the card like this. Just spread your fingers and the card will just fly. Let me actually stand up so you can see it better. Sorry about that, now we have more space. As I said, hold the card in between these two fingers like this. Hold your thumb on index finger, like this. Your card has to go as far as it goes this direction. You do this move, and when it's time to let go the card, you do this with your wrist, like this. Okay, so this is the move. And once you see that the cards start to fly across your room, try to do it as fast as you can. Second, you need to be accurate. Obviously, if you're not accurate, you can hit that banana or that carrot. So you need to practice accuracy. And this is the best way to do it. So I'm going to try to explain it to you in as many details as possible. Obviously, English is not my first language, so it's not easy, but I'll do my best. So this is our target. This is our weapon. You're holding the card in the position. And this is what's going to happen. You will have your card in between these fingers and you are doing the move and you have to let go the card once you see the target in front of your eyes, okay? So you do the move, you do this, and you kind of spread these two fingers once you see Apple in front of you. Here's how it looks in slow motion. So look what it does. This is me throwing cards and letting them go 
anywhere just randomly. And this is me having the target and spreading the fingers once I see my target. This is what it does. I don't hit target every single time but at least it's going that direction and every second or every third time I hit my target let me adjust the camera practice makes perfect the more you practice the better you become so I highly recommend you being consistent and practicing at least one hour per day for a week and then you will be amazed about your own results. So I'm currently editing this video and I realized that I forgot to mention the third thing, which is smash the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching this and I'm going to leave you with the challenge. I'm about to try to slice one grape. So you will see the timer underneath the screen so you know exactly how long it took me to do that. Wish me luck and...